Number six, identify which sets of quad members are valid for an electron. Each set is ordered. So there's not really a question here because I don't know which element I'm focused on here, but this is number six. Um, I'm gonna see if I can reverse engineer this, um, or I guess to give you some examples here. Maybe I'll just describe what quad members are. Maybe that's a bit, little bit easier for us to figure out here. So we have N. Okay, we have numbers N, we have L, we have M subscript L, and we have M subscript S. So N here is going to be our principal quantum number. And this determines the number of shells that our electron has. So N could be one, two, and so on and so forth, like they did here, which is great. L here is the orbital or the subshell, subshell slash orbital. And L has to be basically N minus. L has to be from it can be from zero to one all the way up to n minus one and this uh, determines uh, the orbital here so this is either s p d or f orbitals for example if you had an element that had a principal column number of two that means my subshell is going to be um, from zero and to one here so zero representing the s orbital and one representing the p orbital which is correct here so you can have either exist in the uh, s orbital or the p orbital uh, ML here is a specific, uh, the specific um, orbital here, or though you can think of it as the magnetic number. Um, and ML here is going to equal um, basically plus or minus, um, plus or minus uh, L here all the way up to, so it's going to go to minus L to zero and then to minus L here. And this here is going to be um, that's your that's going to be your magnetic quantum number. And then finally, you have MS here. And MS we don't really talk about it that often. Um, it's more so just um, more so just a, a spin number here. And we don't really talk about this much often because it's either half or negative half for uh, for an electron here. And for a, a different a different particle here, we have different spins, but don't worry about more so that. So we have kind of these four guys here. So we have principal quantum number, we have the orbital, we have the magnetic quantum number here, which is basically the number of orbitals and their orientation. So from a negative L to, oh, this is positive L, sorry. And then we have our spin number, which is half and negative half here. So. Um, so that I believe that this here is a good enough solution. I think this is supposed to be L, but I don't think they had did it here. Um, so valid sets here. So they have two here, which is our my principal column number. One here will be our subshell. Um, so it'd be one. Uh, one can also be our magnetic um, column number, and the half is going to be our spin number, which is good. So checking the first example, the solution is correct. So these are all, these are val that's a valid set for a quantum number here.